Hi, everybody. Your story here. Sorry I'm late on week of the lick, of the lick of the week number 11. I had some, some problems, but here we go. This is what I'm doing this week, and it's a pain in the ass. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this exercise really quick, and then I'm going to do the lick. Hmm. This is what you gotta do. So now this is gonna be the lick. I'm gonna do it at 120. Let's see. Let me turn this up real quick so you can hear this well. Now, now I'll do that exercise again. Well. That's at 120. Let's slow this down. And 102 is what I'm doing here. This is C sharp harmonic minor. Hmm. Silent. Let's just do it with the right hand. There's some noise in there, but it's legato. It's a lot to do with the right hand keeping it quiet, but here's the lick. 120. This is really difficult, so let me just kind of angle this. Now, this isn't as clean as I'd like it to be, but one of the biggest weaknesses of many guitar players, including myself, is my descending timing. Like, one to the, one to the. Now, this is the rhythmically, this is in sextuplets, means 16th note triplets. So, um, what you gotta do, guys, like, I can, I can play fast, but what you gotta do is focus on your accuracy and your timing. Um, so, first, let me break down the scale, okay? Now, if you're in standard, you go on the seventh string. However, so what? 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 If you notice in the lick, what? What's really keeping it? from being completely clean and metronomic is going down. That one, that, that part's not as difficult. But this part. See, when I descend, it's like not ticka 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 so it's, it's, it's incredibly difficult. So let me break down the sequence. It's a, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up four strings in C-sharp harmonic minor. Right? Then I'm gonna descend to the sixth scale degree. I'm sorry. So. Very slowly now. start on the, the leading tone of the scale. That's the next four strings. I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to start on the second to last string of this pattern and I'm going to ascend and descend the entire scale. slow you can kind of hear the so like this kind of rhythm you want oh let's see all right 
No, one, two, 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 two. Six notes a beat. <laughs> But you see, the descending part is hard. Let's try one more time. So, there, that's, you know, loosely what space. You can try to push that, but what I'm trying to focus on is how metronomic this really is. Let's try 128. This is this is probably not gonna happen, but see it's loose and it's noisy, but yeah, see it's not happening. So what you kinda gotta do is keep the strings as quiet as you can. Now you want you want your fingers in your left hand almost feel like the pulse of a drum. Right? So in a way I'm trying to develop my speed and accuracy is to isolate the weakness. Okay? So what it is, what's the problem is descending. I'm holding the strings there. I look totally ridiculous right now. But I'll keep the same direction and go back up. This is hard, man. I'm telling you guys, this is very challenging. So yeah, let's try it. One twenty-three. That's the magic right there. So um, you can expand this this concept too. The sequence isn't all that difficult, but um, you know, it, it's hard to descend. You know, the you're only as good as your weakest weakest technique. I would say it's not that the technique is. Yeah, you, know, you can play some things like you guys could all see in my other videos. You know, I'm playing other sixteenth notes at close to two hundred beats per minute, maybe a little bit faster much more rapid than what I'm but it's usually always one directional. You know, it's not always just going down. And there's a reason I avoid it. It's because I'm not very good at it. So uh, I'm trying to get rid of it. So if you know all your scales, you can take each one of your scales and do this. So if you're in major, let's take C major. So what my practice technique is, is I'll turn on a metronome, I'll put on the Daily Show or the Colbert Report or a science documentary because I'm kind of a dork, or your favorite TV show on your computer or your television, got a metronome next to you, just turn it on and just kind of take your mind off of it and let your fingers do your work. Oh, that was my grandmother calling, hi grandma, I got to call you back. Um, so let your fingers do the work. and. Uh, yeah, this is something that's developed. So you can also take this concept of going up kind of like, I don't know. Let's see, if we go up, we're going up a full octave of the scale up to the fourth and the second octave. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Going up to the fifth, I'm sorry. And then descending to the first octave of the sixth degree. And starting on the leading tone, which is the seven. And that's up to the fourth. So. You notice that's the same sequence. Keep it quiet, 
Chris. And then... That's the problem. And it's the timing. So you're not quite there. Now you can take the same sequence though and ascend it in a linear scale as they're called, going up really what it is, a linear scale if you guys know these. This is just going up in a cycle of diatonic bits, playing six notes of a scale, going up to the fifth, playing the, the sixth from there, and so on. You can find this, Rusty teaches it in fretboard autopsy and whatnot. Um, but you can apply the same uh, concept. I'm going to use natural minor nine. So what I did there... Now I'm going down to my G string and giving it that nice little ending. So let's try that at 115, the whole thing. what I've been working on. This is why I'm late. Because this, let me just stop and say, it's not fun. It's not fun to admit that you're not good at something. It's beyond frustrating to know that, well, I'm a pretty good guitar player, but there's something that I'm not good at that I gotta work on, and it's not progressing at the rate I want it to. It's very, very frustrating. A lot of students and a lot of people that ask me, Blah, 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 it's not going, it's not going, it's not going. Well, it's not, you're not alone, man. Every guitar player goes through this. It's a pain in the ass, but and this is when the work can, but don't make it a chore. You know, if it's frustrating you, like I said, my method of practice, my preferred method, is to let your hands do the work, you know, and take your mind off of it. So I'll be watching a daily show right here on my computer, and uh, I'll let it go. Um, oh, commercial break, and uh, that's what I'll do. Um, so pretty soon, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna develop a system. And what my plan is is to kind of make a system to where I can get rid of this problem for good. Um, Rusty did it uh, with his legato workout, and it tended to work out for him really well. Uh, years ago, I was in Houston, and I told him I said, "What would happen?" If I did the legato workout in its entirety every day for six months, and he said to me, bro, if you did the legato workout every day for six months, you would have the cleanest legato in the planet. And I have an urge to do that. Um, so soon I'm going to get a hold of him and see what we can do. Um, but problem being is it's not so much my ascending legato that I'm worried about particularly, it's my descending legato. So I could take that system, but what I'd like to do, and I, I gotta get a hold of him, is sit down with him and make a system of what I gotta do to fix this problem and do it every day for like three or six months and, and, and see about it. And, and this is really the beginning of this idea. <laughs> preach to not make it a discipline but in reality it does say, take some discipline and that's why I choose to kind of like watch my programs and do this on my own like this but um, 
you know, you could do that with every position of the scale from every scalar degree. So if that's C sharp harmonic minor, I'm going to go to uh, D, D sharp low green. I'll do it. Now E major. So yeah, you guys kind of get the idea. I'm going to do the lick one more time. I'm going to try 123 again. Not quite. By this time, your hands should start getting really tired and sore. It's good, though. It'll develop your muscle technique. So why I make these videos is kind of show everybody that you're not infallible. Not even me, not any guitar player. And these are things you're working on. This is just technique. This has nothing really to do with the musical application, you know. So the uh, thing is, is executing some of those things can be very difficult. Um, if anybody's interested, um, everybody should know that I teach via Skype. So it doesn't matter where you are. I teach kids in in uh, Kazakhstan, Australia, Germany, the UK, all over the United States. Um, so if you want, what I'm charging right now is $25 an hour. And uh, you can email me at chrisshallparish at gmail.com. Um, or you can shoot me a message on Facebook. Or you can shoot me a message on YouTube and I'll get back to you. Um, and I, I will share more with you. So uh, I've got plenty of availability. I don't, I'm not going to school this summer. So uh, get back at me and let me know what you guys think.